G'day and welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a, um, a no plans project and it's one I've been wanting to do for a little while now. Um, I've got the AR40 collet set as I showed previously and I want to build a new fly cutter. Now I've got that bigger collet set, uh, build a three inch fly cutter. I think it'll be nice and rigid in the Cincinnati. Um, one of the ideas behind this is the Cincinnati is not a very, it's only about 900 RPM on the vertical side of the head. I'm thinking with a bigger fly cutter, I'll get a better finish running flat out because smaller fly cutter, it's not spinning fast enough, I believe, to get a real nice finish on some materials. So that that's, I think. So just, yeah. So I thought I'd build a three inch one. It might be a little bit better. So I've got an inch and a half job. I've got a two inch one. So I want to have a three inch. It'll have a one inch shank. Um, and there's no, like I say, there's no plans to this. This is just wing it and hope for the best. It'll, it'll hold a 12 mil carbide insert tool. And um, I think it'd be a good thing. So. I've got a piece of material, I believe it's 4140, with a three inch in the lathe. I've just faced off, I'm just gonna skim the outside to clean it up and um, start putting the shank on it. So that's the next project. Bit of a break off the corn still. Right, I've marked in here 30 mil. Let's go have a 30 mil long shank, one inch. Um, so I'll turn that down, then I'm gonna put this in the um, Put in the collar chuck, take the chuck off, put the collar VR40 in, and then just skim this outside to make it all nice and concentric, parallel, whatever you want to call it, and then over to the mill. Should be that should be thirty mil. Yep. Breaking a bit. Should be down to our last run, so I'm going to spin it up, try and get a nice finish on it.
to heal up close enough. Where is shit? Yeah. Oh, spin it around and put in the um. I'll spin it around now, put in the uh, collet chuck on the lathe, and I'll turn this diameter true. Then over to the mill. Too bad. I didn't leave a radius in there, so I want to sit that hard up against the end of the collar. So I didn't want to have a radius there. Sit that hard up in there, and then try and gain a bit more rigidity as well. That's the plan, anyway. Right. I've got this set up in the vice here, obviously on a couple little parallels underneath here. Two V blocks. Sitting at 15 degrees. I used a digital angle box and then used a um, an angle block and ran the indicator across it and it's spot on. So I just got a roughing end mill, three quarter roughing end mill. So I just want to cut this down until I get over to this edge over here. Make it flat. Should be right. I've really got to set this mist sprayer up permanently on a in the mills one day.
reckon how good you can see that, but it's nice and smooth. So I'm just going to locate right on the centre now. Put the, the groove in for the tool and relieve the side for the set screws. I used an edge finder and found the edge. Actually, you done inside the jaws actually. Uh, then found centre, then moved over half the diameter of the cutter, which is a 10mm cutter. So moved over 5mm off centre on the correct side. Um, the tool's going to be in there as a 12mm tool, but I'm just going to put a 10mm and then open the gap up to 12mm. Okay, we've got 50 tooth out to go on the depth, then I can take the width out then, so it's the final cut on depth. I just had a bit of a clean up. I've got 78 there to take off this face here. Um, so I'm going to try and do it in about two cuts. See how it goes anyway.
Okay, well, I got it to fit. Um, this shank here was slightly larger at this end, sorry, at this end than this end. But, uh, fits. I'm, I'm sort of glad it is real tight. Um, I'd rather be too tight than sloppy. So, what I've got to do now is put this relief in here on this side for the set screws, and then we're done. Right, there's no real, I've got no real set dimension on this width here. So I'm just going to do a, um, a climb cut, about a thou or two, just to give that a nice edge. And then uh, I can take it out and put the uh, three set screws in there. So. Speed her up a little bit. Pretty happy with that. Just run a little file around these edges on this top edge and the two sides here. And now uh, I can set it up then and put the uh, set screws in the side. But that is a nice smooth finish. I've done all this, all these features just off the one cutter and it still feels razor sharp. So, right, I'll set it up in between two V blocks. And I've got a little jack over this side so that it doesn't cant the jaw too much. I've decided I'm going to put M6 set screws in there, just three of them. So this one's in the middle and then 10mm in from each end. And it'll hold the tool just nice. And if I put it all the way out, I can, yeah, it's still going to be two on there, which I don't really want to go any more wide than that, really. Uh, put it right on the edge. I think it worked out about seven seven inch hole or half, seven inch circle seven and a half inch circle So I'll drill and tap this one m6 and I'll do the other two off camera That's the first one done. Just got another two to do and I'll bring this back when I've got it done, okay? Well, there's the three holes. And dickhead me touched it with the bloody collet. When I was doing this end hole, I didn't have the center drilling or out far enough and but he touched the collet on it. But I could put it back in the lathe and just run it off, but I'm not 
it's not going to affect it. So I'll put her in the Cincinnati and we'll give her a spin and see how it goes. See if we've had a success or not. That is super smooth. Nice reflection too. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that result. So there we go. Another tool for the box or the cupboard. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out in the end. It, it was a no no plans build, just built it as I went, there was no dimensions really, except I wanted a one inch shank to take a 12 mil tool. Um, that was the only dimensions I really followed and wanted. Um, the results I got, I reckon, pretty darn good. So, super smooth. So now I've got a inch and a half, a two inch and a three inch. I think I'm pretty much covered for fly cutters now for a little while. But I think I may have a job coming up soon that I'm going to need a big fly cutter. Um, I had a whisper of a job the other day that a bloke wants done. Then this is another reason why I did build this. So, um, even if I don't end up doing the job for the bloke, well, at least I've still got a good fly cutter. Um, the only bit that I'm a bit peeved about is where I did hit it with there touch it with the bloody collet nut when I was doing these holes, which I'm a bit pissed about, but anyway, a bit of battle scars won't hurt. So, I hope you've enjoyed that build. I thoroughly enjoy building this. Um, I know I've got to get my ass back on and getting that finish that corn off, but I have enjoyed the break away from it because of when I started on, I didn't sort of give up and just kept gnawing away at it. I just like to have a bit of a change for a while, but I will get back to that soon. Probably. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you on the next build, which I've got no bloody idea what it's going to be yet. Thanks, guys. See you later.